And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and game tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Check, set, take. Under pressure. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. You know, he had his receiver open. He just put too much on that football. He's got to find a little bit more touch next time. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle at the 34-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Second down now, they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he just gets rid of it. to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. A decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. The running back gets two on the carry. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Quick strike to the fullback, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down at the 24. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down line. Washington could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. Three nothing, Washington. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage.
that brings up second and third. From their own 22 yard line, second down. And two, blue four, blue four. He gets rid of this one. Chucks it downfield, drops it, and that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offensive coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Washington is up by three. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. Gets past the tackler, and they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Huskies have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Carries the ball for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. No game. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Call it a game of one yard. That'll make it fourth and two. Booming kick. They'll bring him down at the 26. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Pressure and brought down. So the sack makes this a second and long. Washington is up a field goal. 117, 117. 
Caught open field. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it third and 15. Three down, three down. He's going to go for the home run. And he holds in the deep pass. First down. He's out of bounds at about the 11. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Washington leads it 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Four down, four down. Like 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Texas. Tackle the nine-yard line. Touchdown. And the fullback was wide open on that one. Now the defense again completely forgot about him and he made him pay for it big time. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Ten the mic. He's tackled at the 31. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Brought down around the 39-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Black five, black five, X7. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Four yards away here on second down. Red two, orange three. Caught by the tight end, past the marker, and down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. Feeds it to the back, and they'll get him in the backfield. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 48. Mike 10, Mike 10. Red, two. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Green nine, green. Fires out to his wideout. 
Tackle made at the 31-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. with room to work. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here comes the pressure. They bring the quarterback down. This is the 11th play of the current drive. Four down, four down. 46 is right there. Check him, check him. Tins the mic, tins the mic. Dog four. Hit. Play fake. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. And I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. Roger, Roger. From their own six-yard line, first down. Flips it middle to the running back. He's taken down around the 12-yard line. Almost six yards on the play action. Washington's going to take their first time out of the half. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Number eight with the tackle at the 25-yard line. That'll make it second and four. And he hits him hard, the 17-yard line. I mean, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. And he is drilled at the 28. They pick up some good yardage, but it's just short of the first down. And here, this is just a great effort by the ball carrier, but the defense does an excellent job to stop him short of the first down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail by Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Easy, oh, easy. Flair, Flair. Go. And he might want it all here and does. Interception. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with a big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. First down. Tackled 
exactly right away. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. Mark 22, Mark 22. He's on the run. They bring him down. Washington's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Set! Blue 14! Blue 14! He's scrambling. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. That makes it 37. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He's out to the 30, and he hauls that one in. And he tackles him hard at the 36. Get away from the pressure. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. to the 40, catches it, and he's taken down at the 41. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. Washington's got a 10-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The Huskies have the lead at the half and they have all the momentum in the world on their side. Everything has gone their direction. But David, you've played a lot of ball. Have you ever been in a situation where you had everything going your way, then halftime comes, and for some reason it all changed in the second half? Well, unfortunately, yes, Reese. <laughs> you've been in a situation where it seems like nothing you could do was wrong. Every, you had the answer to every question that was asked. And then in the second half, it seems like the coaches start asking different questions on the other side of the field, and you might not be as ready for it. So you got to make sure that you take the momentum and make sure that you take advantage of it because things change quickly, and if you get on the wrong side of it, sometimes you just can't stop it. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's a great tackle at the 32, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. Four 
Green eye, green eye. Oh. Up the middle for a nice game. First and ten. Ball on the 36. He makes his way to about the 48. and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Red two, today. Green eight. Today. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That is a loss of three yards. That'll bring up third and long. Taken down. Here's the eighth play of the series. They need to convert down here and end their red zone woe. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They're at the three. Second down. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive. And they give it in for seven. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. Really controlling the line of scrimmage. And it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. He kicks it off. And he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Scarlet Knights came into the second half, and they looked like they were just going to cruise to a victory. Right now, they better turn it around, or they can lose this lead. You're right. I, I don't know what happened at halftime. Maybe they were worried about the press clippings after this game, but they better get things in order. They could end up losing this ball game. Washington is up by three. And off, and he's met immediately. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. And he's stopped behind the line. the 30. Tackle around the 38-yard line. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman to tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. That makes it first and 10. Makes it out to about the 36. And they push him out at the 32-yard line. The speed 
speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Washington has a three-point lead. man can't tack on in the yardage it looks like they're going to try for the long field goal kicks up and he just drilled it from long range Line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second down and five. Ball on their own 30. Go down, go down. Take the mic. Take the mic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. Orange three. Go. Ah. Takes the ball inside. He's got an open. He's tackled around the 41 yard line. complete over the middle. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. I love that guy. Oh. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Dead. He'll get it again. Gets out to around the 35. been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? Washington leads it 13-7. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Black five, black five, pitch. Rose and a man wide open, and he missed it. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Mike 10, Mike 10. Dead two, green nine. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. level at the 23. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. From the 23-yard line, second down. Red two, accept. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Tenth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. And watch that, and watch the ball. Pitch. Red 2, green 15. Go. This one's going deep to the end zone. Illegal, Illegal touching. touching. Offense. Offense. 
That penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting down. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Here's a fourth down and long situation following the penalty. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 13-10, Washington. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Brad, I would anticipate the defense putting 11 defenders up close to the line of scrimmage, doing everything that they can to stop the running game and try to strip that ball away from the running back. An aggressive offense might try to take advantage of that with a play action, fake that run up the middle, and then maybe try to find a tight end, maybe downfield or a wide receiver. Washington is up a field goal. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Loss of five there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Second and 15. Ball on their own 33. And he's tackled at the 46. That's a game of 13 on the play. That'll bring up 32. 22 is coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Check three. Check three. Nice grab on the play. He's taken down to 39-yard line. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. You got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure showed. Tackled for a loss. From the 40-yard line, second down. Number 45 on the tackle at the 33 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Check, check, set. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Check the call, check the call. Check, check. Right lion, right lion. field goal attempts. He gets it up, and it's good! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He gets sacked on the play. He chucks it downfield. They'll bring him down at about the 41. A big 
gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Just over a minute left. Hey, kill, kill, kill. He sails it long. And we're all tied up. There's a Here's the extra field. point that can give them the lead. Penalty markers down. They took Delay too much time. Offense. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 75-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And, Brad, you're going to move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdown. The score now, 17-16. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be keying on. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive, ready to step up and maybe become the hero and be able to win this game. He's going to go for the home run. Complete. It's the junior, and he's taken down at the 18. That's a game that makes it first and ten. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. The ten. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Number 95 makes the tackle at the seven-yard line. That and they've got all their DBs goal. in there to match up against the five-wide set. Fires up to his receiver. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Hey, check that! Hold down! Check blue 42! Check three! Blue 42! Hut! It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. The Huskies are so confident every time they can this kid the football. He's going to be special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way.
So the offense is going to go for two. Set, Texas. Motion. And he's in for two. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The thing you've got going for you defensively, you know your offense is doing their job. You just have to do yours. Yeah, I think one time you have to be able to go out there on the field together and look around and say, guys, I know we're not playing well, but just one stop. The way our offense is playing, if we can come up with one stop, we can win this game. Incomplete, knocked away. He was able to just tip that one away, right out of the receiver's reach. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Red two, green 15. He's going to air it long. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. The pass is incomplete. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. He lets it fly. Intercepted, and I think I can hear the fat lady sing. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's first down. Washington up seven points. Makes it to the 34. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 24-17, Husky. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.